Today I just wanted to make a quick video kind of exploring the effectiveness of the M855 5.56 round. If you spent any time on the internet, you've probably read that this is the worst defensive option for 5.56 that you could ever choose. Uh, it just zips right through people, doesn't do any damage, has never killed a single person, and if you pack this in your defensive carbine, you will be killed in the streets. So is that true? I don't know, but we're going to be shooting some ballistic gel and then we will make a couple of baseless conclusions based on what we see. So we are using the IMI M855 because it's just fairly high quality and it's what I have. And then we are using the AAC 77 grain uh, Sierra Match King. I don't normally buy the Sierra Match King AAC stuff, but I figured for this video people would complain if I used the AAC OTM. So we'll see how that does. For the test, I couldn't quite decide on what barrel length to use. I figured uh, most people are kind of favoring shorter barrels these days uh, for their like defensive uh, carbines. So I've got an 11 and a half inch barrel that we're using. I thought about doing 16 because it's more common, but lately it seems like when people are discussing their uh, defensive setups, they are shorter like 11 and a half to 13, seven ish. So I have an 11 and a half inch, so that's what we're gonna use. So is it trash? Is it dog water? Will you be killed in the streets? Should you throw all this away or just mag dump it into a berm so you are not caught and embarrassed when people see that you have this in your magazine? Or is it gonna be decent and if you have it, go ahead and use it. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the test. So first I shot the M855 from about 10 yards back. I got a velocity of 26, 39 feet per second out of the 11 and a half inch barrel. And here are those results. All right, so this is the M855 from IMI coming out of the uh, 11 and a half inch barrel. So at about four inches in, we got pretty good wound cavity. It's about three inches tall. And then right there, you can tell the bullet was traveling sideways just because of that smear. Just You can tell it was traveling sideways. Penetrated the whole 16 inch block and then ended up in our second block about two and a half, three inches and the bullet's completely backwards. Uh, we got zero fragmentation and zero expansion obviously but you know it's really not a not an awful wound cavity it's better than you'd expect and then i shot the aac 77 grain loaded with the 77 grain sierra match king uh, from about 10 yards again got a velocity of 26 or 2449 out of the 11 and a half inch barrel and here are those results so this is the wound cavity from the aac 77 grain stuff out of the uh, 11 and a half inch barrel so at about two and a half inches into the block, we got this massive wound cavity. It's three and a half inches tall and it's five and a half inches long. We got some really good fragmentation. Uh, so there's a chunk of the jacket there, the majority of the jacket, the majority of the jacket's right there at the 12 and a half inch mark. And then we got a chunk of lead right there and we got some more uh, jacket right there. So obviously more fragmentation than the M855 and a larger wound cavity, less penetration though. So. Yeah, take that for what you will. The 77 grain stuff obviously did better. Not as good as I thought. I thought we'd get more penetration and I was kind of surprised that the bullet uh, came apart like it did. Like the jacket separation, com like the complete jacket separation wasn't something I was expecting. Um, but we got pretty massive wound cavity. I was expecting more penetration, but I'm not unhappy with it. For a short barreled rifle, uh, Obviously, if I had my choice, I would choose the 77 grain, but I wouldn't feel too bad if I had the 62 grain. But in conclusion, you will probably not be killed in the streets if you have the M855, and it'll probably be just fine. So if you have it, then you'll probably be fine. Go ahead and use it. And just for the hell of it, we did a 69 grain uh, test. The, uh, it's AAC ammo with AAC's bullet and it actually mushroomed out nice. It's kind of what I was expecting from the Sierra 77 grain bullet, but uh, we penetrated fairly deep and it, the wound cavity was nice and consistent, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna make a video exploring uh, that ammo shortly, so keep an eye out for that, but yeah, thanks for watching the video.